Welcome back to the show, everyone. Of course, the new year often brings change when people think about diet and exercise, but how about what you're doing to your skin every day to make yourself look beautiful? Absolutely. And joining us now to give us some more information is Mark Brunet from Beauty Mark. How are Hello, you? Hello, Mark. Great. Happy New Year. So Happy new, new year. year, everybody has new beginnings, but how does it play yeah. into what we're talking about Do you about see this today? in your business? People come in in January and they're like, I want to I wanna change all this. Well, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people, I mean, I've got friends and stuff that do like um, detox and cleansers and we've always heard about the wild rose yeah. detox kit. Yeah. And, and of course, people are working out more, changing their diet. Maybe they've already kind of given up now at this time of the month. But, <laughs> Maybe. But, <laughs> people are now exhausted. So, um, yeah, so when you are um, basically going through any kind of cleanse or working out differently or eating differently. It affects your skin. Absolutely. Uh, you might be prone to a few more breakouts than usual. Uh -huh. uh, you might see irritations or anything else like that because any changes on the body are stressful. So... You know, whether it's the toxins leaving your skin or it's just really the change of diet. Or if you're working out more and maybe sweating a lot. Yeah, so let's talk about skin things. care and how you can prevent that kind of thing from happening. So what you're going to see is you're going to see more breakouts. So you're going to see a little bit Yay! of more oil no, production. <laughs> the oil is going to prov provide food for the bacteria. And then all of a sudden we're going to see more breakouts. So there's some strategies in place to uh, take a look at trying to control that breakout. So okay. something you should be looking at. So what have we got here? Uh, basically, this is Dermalogica. This is the Medibac system. Mm -hmm. So there's obviously um, herbs and vitamins and everything else, but also some skin clearing products and things that are going to kill the bacteria that are going to stop the breakouts. So that's what you're going to see in the Medibac system. So there's uh, different things. You could use wipes maybe after you leave the um, treadmill, or maybe it's just introducing one nighttime um, a cleanser or a nighttime mask. And just, just making sure control. your skin is clean. Yeah. That's right. So that'll help address that. Uh, you know, even though I'm a dude, I have to say when I'm running more, you know, I get the little, uh, I get the braille forehead. I get that little bumpy, bumpy. So it's there. important then to get that off before. So even if you take a, a set of wipes and you're just basically wiping that all off, okay. it'll just get rid of the oil and therefore the bacteria nice. won't get. Food. And maybe a cleanser or something. Or a, yeah. And what have okay. we got here? So this actually is really interesting. This is the ultra calming line from Dermalogica, and this is really addressing. Uh, stresses on the skin. So if you've got rashes, or irritation, any kind of redness, um, any kind of change, even if it's beneficial change, is stressful on the body and it could play out in your skin. This so is a really common one for people who are on a cleanse. They get that little bit of rash and, and that's how their body's sort of dealing with everything. The stress of doing well for... Uh, the, the inside. <laughs> it's the stress of doing good things, things on your body, but it does. play out on, on the skin. Okay. And what have we got in this little group? Well, Maybe now, if you're just even thinking about what you could do well for your skin for the new year, um, maybe if you're not ready to give away everything, like you, you don't want to change your, your, um, your skincare regime, maybe just introducing a serum. And what is a serum and what does it do? So a serum would be a concentrated, um, um, a concentrated ingredient, and usually it's usually in a small little vial or something. And it's a concentrated bunch of ingredients that would do active things to the skin. So it's not just in your cleanser or just in your moisturizer. These are what those com concentrated components of that. Yeah. So you could do it so that it's moisture rich. You could do it so it's anti-aging. You could do it so it's antioxidant rich. So you're just basically applying <laughs> specific amounts of one particular a ingredient. Little something a little extra. something extra. So it's just taking your skincare to the next level. And that, of course, you know, if, you, if people come in and they talk to you or talk to your staff and say, you know, these are the things that are happening right now. You can get a specific serum or something. That Absolutely. Work because you, you might be dealing with breakouts. You might right. be dealing with... Um, so make sure it's the skin. right serum yeah. that you need for That's right. whatever's going and on And how about removing uh, ingredients that people are not a fan of? I know that uh, this is a really great line here. This is a really easy way to remove, you know, everyone talks about toxins and detox and we were talking about talk detoxification here, but people are looking at ingredients and they're really investigating their ingredients and they're really curious about ingredients. So in nail polish, typically it's you know, paint basically that you're putting on your <laughs> nail. So a lot of companies like Spa Ritual, for instance, are removing some of the three big ones, Tulane, formaldehyde, and DBP, out of their products. So it's a really easy way to just switch out your nail polish and remove some of those chemicals that you'd be putting into your body. And it's a tough one with the nail polish to find a good quality one, but this one has the same color palette as others and it stays on really well. We were very skeptical a couple of years ago when these hit the market because we thought, chip, chip, chip. Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> these are going to work just as well as anything else. In fact, a lot of people really like this. And uh, the remover is another aspect of this as well. Yeah, I mean, if you look at this remover, um, you know, it's, you know, it's, uh, a vegan um, 
product. Wow. It's, I mean, it, it, it's not, again, it's still a remover and it's still removing a type of paint off of your skin. <laughs> right. but, um, so it's got to have some strength to it. That's but. right, but these are alternatives. All okay, right. nice. and what have we got here with the, the consonant uh, line? Well, when we start investigating ingredients, um, a lot of people have different opinions about what's good for us and what's not. So this whole yeah. concept that what we put into our body, onto our body, is accepted into mm -hmm. our body. So a lot of people are trying to remove chemical ingredients, trying to minimize what we put into our, to put onto our body to minimize what's inside. Right. So consonant has already gone through and taken a look at all the ingredients that you want to eliminate from your skincare regime, and they've already put it all together as a collection. So you can actually <laughs> buy a detox skincare regime give it 30 days, see if you like it. If you don't like it, you can bring yeah. it back. Well, and this is beautiful for people because it takes so much research to try and, I mean, if you look in your makeup kit and you try and sort it all out yourself, I mean, it could You're gonna be shopping take, for days. Yeah. I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> because there's so much conflicting um, information yeah. that's, that's uh, so around. So if you can find a line that you believe in that's doing that for you, that's, yeah. you know, that makes it a lot easier, and, and consonant, as far as I can see, is one of the best in terms of really taking a look at all the ingredients that are inside your products eliminating them but giving you the same quality um, so the cleanser is going to feel like exactly the same foaminess right. cleanser like you might really really like the foam moisturizer cleanser. stuff I'm going to try this one yeah, I haven't should, tried sure. it yet. Uh, now uh, we brought this along or you brought this along uh, we brought because, this along because girls are gross well and we're talking about it's detoxing true. and and <laughs> women are famous for uh, keeping things in their makeup kit for far far too long when we're talking about detox, really one of the biggest things you could do in the new year to detox is to clean out the bacteria that could be living in your makeup bag. Now, most women have a compact and they always come with sponges and you tend to use the sponge as long as the compact lasts, but these Oof. should be replaced how often? Um, uh, yeah. Often. And, and actually, <laughs> with a little hidden compartment there, it's you actually, worse. it's worse yeah. because it just Basically, right. Fester. It's Fester. a nice contained environment for yeah. things to grow now, in. Now, mascara, uh, people like to use these as long as you can because, you know, we pay the premium price that's to get right. the good stuff. But how long should we keep a mascara? Three months maximum. And, and that's huck it. Huck it. It's three months from the time you crack it open, wow. put it on your eye, and put it back in the, in the, in the container. Lip gloss, the exact same thing. You're taking it out, you're contaminating it, you're pumping it, and you're pumping it back in with air, usually, <laughs> so three right? Months. Yeah, three months. Maybe less. <laughs> Maybe less. Freaking me out, man. Smell might give it away. Usually Taste. with lipstick, to the smell. If it goes yeah. off, it goes off. So, how yeah. long does lip lipstick last? Uh, lipstick will last a little bit longer, um, six months maybe. Um, but again, these are preserved, so there are preservatives inside. Mm -hmm. But really, if it changes color or texture or smell, yeah. Clean your makeup brushes. That is revolutionary. But Clean you know, your cleaning brushes. your makeup all the brushes. Time. <laughs> and you can buy a cleaner, you can clean with shampoo, but just make sure that they're clean all the time. All the time. Mark, thank you very much. Good Always a pleasure. Appreciate it. Happy New Year. I think you're going to be the last person that I say Happy New Year to. Or the Happy first. New Year. <laughs> or for 2012. Thank you so much. Of course, you can go to Beauty Mark's website. You can shop online if you like, or you can visit them in Yale Town. Very nice. We're going to take a break and come back with more on Urban Rush right after this. We'll tell you who's coming up tomorrow.